An eight-year-old girl and her father are still in hospital after they were shot in their car in Ladbrook Grove on Sunday. The girl's mother and two-year-old sibling were also in the car but weren't injured. The girl has undergone surgery whilst her father has potentially life-changing injuries. A 22-year-old man's been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Euston and Euston Square underground stations will both cease to function as reliable stations in peak hours due to overcrowding. That's according to a leaked report sent to BBC London. The report said they both need to be urgently upgraded to remain safe. Recently, a travel watchdog said passengers at Euston were being put in danger by high levels of overcrowding. Transport for London has said it would never allow a situation where a station it runs is unsafe. Overcrowding here happens a lot. The gates at the bottom have to be closed regularly because of the overcrowding on the platforms. And passenger numbers, it's predicted, are only going to go one way, particularly when HS2 arrives here. Transport for London says it's to take enforcement action against dockless e-bike operators who fail to act when bikes are left in the wrong place. It says it's also to fund more than 7,000 new parking spots for bikes to try and prevent them being left as potential trip hazards on the streets. Now, a BBC coffee cup featuring the corporation's 1960s logo is among the range of items discovered in a disused part of Alexandra Palace. It was discovered as part of a major project to repair the building to stabilise its structure, as well as some of these other items. Ali Pali is 150 years old and is known around the world as the birthplace of television. Up on BBC London. Is this the beginning of the end for Billingsgate and Smithfield markets as it's announced the historic sites will close by 2028? Well, we've made a very historic and momentous decision today, which is to apply to Parliament for a bill to demarketise our wholesale market sites at both Billingsgate uh, and at Smithfield. Also ahead tonight, reaction to that news, more than a thousand jobs could go in Luton as Vauxhall plans to close its van-making plant. We'll hear from the town's MP. Plus, a leaked report calls for urgent upgrades to Houston's underground stations following concerns about overcrowding at rush hour. Meet Atley. We find out why the Speaker of the Commons Cat has just been given a Battersea Cats and Dogs Award.